Good morning, this is a coronavirus update. The government has just announced that the national lockdown will continue until the R rate decreases. The Prime Minister is set to appear later on today in Parliament to expand further on the restrictions and the rules for each region. Hospitality sectors, schools, pubs and restaurants must remain closed during these times. In other news, the government is to spend more than £400 million to support lower income households in England following a campaign by footballer Marcus Rashford. A winter grant scheme to be run by councils will provide support with food and bills and a holiday food and activities program is to be expected. Yeah, this might speak in. I was calling regarding your job application, which you placed through Reed. Is now a good time to speak? Yeah, now's a good time. So it says on your application that you have at least two years' experience as a sales executive, which is good. We do require you to have at least 12 months' experience for our roles. Could I ask the nature of your role? Yeah, it was um, mainly just predominantly cold calling uh, customers who have placed an interest in gas and electric. And we were completing the application and sending it off to our sales team to complete the deal. Okay, I do apologise. The role we are advertising for was sales executives, so unfortunately you don't have the required experience for the position we're looking to fill. <sighs> nah, that's... I mean, that's alright. But do you, like, do you have any other roles, possibly? Do you know, like, are you recruiting in any other departments or anything? Um, unfortunately not right now, and we don't have any at entry level. Ah, uh, uh, that's alright then. Could, could I ask if anything does come up, if you kindly give me a call please? I'd love that. Absolutely. My name is Priscilla. If a position does come up, I'll make sure to give you a call. Thanks very much, I appreciate that. No problem at all. Have a lovely day. Hello? Yaga, yo! You said that. <laughs> I'm good, just thinking about you. What are you up to? Oh, swear, that's ironic. I was thinking about you too. Oh, really? What are you thinking? I'm thinking, you know, just chilling and stuff. What are you saying? Like, are you going to come over? Oh, so you want to break the rules? Well, I mean, I don't mind breaking the rules for you. Okay, cool. I'm going to get ready, then I'll come. Ah, right, cool. Say no more. I'll see you in a bit. See you soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh my goodness! Hi. Hi. <laughs> yeah, I thought I was just admiring. Wow, you look good. Thanks. You look alright. Just alright. I Lockdown is bullshit anyway. We're wearing these dumb masks, don't do nothing, and I don't even know how I'm gonna pay my bills. Nah, do you know what? Like, on a more serious thing, like, I'm in the same boat. I'm just here applying for jobs every day, talking to recruiters and shit. It's, it's actually just getting along that. I feel you. It's just tough, man. Sounds like I'm the only good thing you've got. <laughs> <laughs> I mean,. I ain't really gonna argue with that. Thank you.
The UK has been affected by COVID-19 far more than most in these past few months. And with the holidays and Christmas just around the corner, questions are arising as to whether families will be able to see and embrace their loved ones this year. Yes, this is my speaking. Yeah, now's a good time. Oh. No, no, that's fine. Um, do you know what? No, no that's fine. Honestly, that's fine. All right. Thanks very much. Bye bye. Bye. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Um, and. Could I kindly ask if maybe I have any other positions available? No. Hello? Yes, this is Mike speaking. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, that's fine. Okay. Would it, is it possible if I could get some feedback maybe? I'm just, you know, trying to get my order, get everything sorted. Check you. Yeah, no, I'm just here chilling. Like, obviously, just checking on you, innit? See how you're doing. Yeah, I'm alright. I'm alright. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Like I said, I'm just here chilling, just checking on you. What are you saying? Do you want to come over in a bit? Come chill? I guess I could do with a break to be honest, so I'll let you know when I'm outside. Alright, cool. Alright, right, so no more. I'll catch you in a bit then, yeah? Bye. Alright, bye. Hey! I'm here! <laughs> yeah, you're here! <laughs> hey, what? Did I not deserve the dress today? No! <laughs> Got the comfortable quarantine. What are your men them saying? None of them are about, innit? Everyone's just doing their own thing. I say like one of your boys is popping on YouTube and Instagram with right, like 400k. Are you bringing the man them now, yeah? I mean, he's blown, innit? He's doing his thing. Yeah, everyone's doing that thing, innit? Because we're really long, young. I should probably get going. Do you want to get me an Uber home? <laughs> well, you're a big girl, you can't pay for your own Uber. I don't get myself. It's arriving soon. Yeah, right, cool. Hello, driver. Yeah, I'm coming out now. Give me a few seconds.
Main headline today, more than 10,000 people are catching coronavirus every day, a stark finding from senior scientists as they warn the pandemic is at a critical stage. More businesses are laying off staff as the latest figures show redundancies have spiked since September. The FTSE 100 has hit a six-month low as investors react to the increase in coronavirus cases. Retail stores are taking a financial hit before Christmas, losing out on millions of pounds. This is Max speaking. And could I could I just ask um, if I could maybe get some feedback? Was there any particular reason why I didn't? No, it's... that's why. And if you get any other job off it.
Ha, 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 ha.